Prior to the artwork, we spent time working on the historical aspect of the Runaway As. Uh, the students spent a lot of time analyzing each article, um, describing what they saw, writing key details, physically and even um, characteristics that they were able to make inference from. So for example, there was one individual, uh, an escaped slave, who it said he had connections and he had falsified papers. So through analyzing the documents, they were able to come up with, uh, make inference with ideas that maybe he's um, well-spoken and well-dressed and knows how to blend in with free people. So they spent a lot of time on that aspect of the whole um, historical view of the ads. And also we spent time understanding the concept of being enslaved and how this was forced upon them and how the rebellious nature was to run away. They were making a stance against this inhumanity. We did a lot of um, activities regarding property. Uh, there was an inventory list that we got our hands of as a primary source. We analyzed that inventory list and see how slaves were seen just as if there was a tool. In the same list of the, that a slave master would put his tools and his horses, his slave was on that same list. So it was this whole concept of um, they're not seen as humans, and some students were able to even see these articles, these advertisements specifically, and say it seemed like if you would see today in modern time a runaway dog, and my dog is missing, uh, he has a collar, a uh, red collar, return him to, this, to the owner and get a reward. They made these inferences and connections.